The Spanish Civil War was fought between the Nationalists on one side and the Republicans, or in flag terms, between the Red, Gold and Purple and the Red, Gold and Red, although both the Republicans and the Nationalists both used various other flags in various different combinations. So this video is about the flags of the Spanish Civil War. The Republicans were the Loyalists in the Civil War, and so their flag was the flag of the Second Spanish Republic, which was the national flag of Spain at the time. The main difference between the flag of the Republic and the monarchist flags that had come before and the flags that were used by the Nationalists Nationalists is of course that the original red was changed to a purple on the bottom stripe. Now the red gold red version was known as a rojigualda in Spanish and had already been used as a national flag with the symbol of the monarchy in the middle. Now the red gold purple was known as el tricolor in Spanish, the tricolor, and this was associated more with republicanism, just as in Germany, in Weimar Germany, you had the Reichsflagge and the Bundesflagge, the change of colour denoting whose side essentially would use it, whether it was the monarchists on the one hand or more people who were in favour of the Republic, and a very similar thing happened in Spain with the colours. Of course the other feature is the crown or the coat of arms in the middle of the Spanish Republican flag, and although the monarchy was abolished, they are actually standing for the old medieval kingdoms of Spain of Castile, León, Navarra and Aragón, as well as the city of Granada, the last part of Spain to be recaptured from the Muslims. The purple at the bottom of the flag might have been chosen because purple was a traditional colour of Catholicism, which also because it was used on the flag of León. The flag of the international brigades, the international volunteers who fought alongside the Republic, was of course based on the national flag of the Spanish Second Republic, with a different symbol in the middle. And although these volunteers came from all over the world and from different political ideologies, they also had their own uh, flags for the regiments that they used, some of them being shown here. One is, I believe, a Hungarian group on the left, and then the Tailmann Battalion, uh, so German and Austrian volunteers in that battalion there with various symbols, and often they would switch out the uh, central symbol in the flag of the tricolor with various communist and socialist symbols. I'm just made, really invented these, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to imagine that for yourself, but there you go, that's what I imagine they could have looked like. Now of course this symbol in the middle is the three-pointed star and this is also found on the flag of Frente Popular which is the Popular Front's flag which prior to the war was an alliance of various left-wing parties including PSOE, the Socialist Party, PCE, the Communist Party, BOM, the Marxist Party, UR, the Republican Party and IR, the Izquierda Republicana, uh, the leftist Republican Party essentially against the National Front which was then the same but then for the right-wing parties and uh, yeah, that, anyway, that's backstory. There's also the flag of the CNT FRE, which was the joint flag of two organizations which were very important in the trade union movement in Spain, which was the Confederación Nacional del Trabajo, which is the National Confederation of Labour. Uh, they also have their own little symbol, which is this. It's still around today, uh, but it was incredibly influential at that time. It was the largest trade union in Spain, and its formation, essentially how it armed the workers, was a big factor in the continuation of the Spanish Civil War uh, against the nationalist coup. And we also have the Federación Anarquista Ibérica, which is the Iberian Anarchist Federation which, uh, of course, they're anarchists. So on their flag, we have the red, which the red symbolizes obviously socialism and communism, and the black is, a, is the color of anarchism, uh, which was also a very powerful force during the Spanish Civil War, especially in Catalonia. When the nationalists rebelled in 1936, they were, of course, the rebels, but chose as their flag the red, gold, red, the traditional flag of the monarchy of Spain, with the same, almost the same weapon in the middle as the republicans. Now, they had many who were in the army, of course, and more traditionalists, so it made sense that they would go back to this flag. Now the two flags really aren't too dissimilar, which did actually cause a problem because, well, you know, it was easy to do friendly fire and you wouldn't know which troop was which, especially with the more regimental colours going around, although you can see some slight differences between the composition of the coat of arms in the middle and, of course, the big factor of the different colour of the bottom stripe of the tricolour. Now this later, from 1938, was the official flag of Frankist Spain and you know we can see several things that have gone on in this flag of course there's the eagle there we have a new slogan being incorporated as well as the symbols at the bottom there which I will cover slightly later on of the yoke and the bundle of arrows now if we look at the phalangists who are the Spanish fascist party we see that their flag is this one the red black red and then in the middle a symbol which is called in Spanish El yugo y de las flechas, which in English is the yoke and the arrows. And this symbol actually comes from the 16th century, or actually, well, it'll be the late 15th century, with the Reyes Católicos, which are the uh, Catholic monarchs, uh, and they are Ferdinand and Isabella. Now, actually, what's interesting is that yugo 
is spelt with a Y, and in the contemporary spelling, Isabella was also spelt with a Y, whereas Flechas is the same as Ferdinand. So they're the two symbols of those two, and this was a very important moment in Spanish history because it was the union of the crowns of Castile and Leon, the two most powerful kingdoms at that time. And so this flag goes back to that defining moment of the union of Castile and Leon, really the ground piece for the creation of Spain. Now it might be weird that it's a red black red flag instead of a blue black blue flag because blue was the color of the phalangists of the they're called the blue shirts but black is a fascist color it's used by the Italian black shirts for example and on other fascist flags at the time in the 1930s so it's no surprise that that color made it on. Another of the factions under the Nationalist banner were, of course, the Carlists, who sought to reinstate the line of Don Carlos to the Spanish throne. And they also fought under a variety of flags, either the Burgundian Cross on the familiar white background, and also another variant that had been used throughout history of the Burgundian Cross on a yellow background. Now, when a Falange Española Tradicionalista de las Juntas Ofensiva Nacional Sindicalista was made by the joining of the Falangist Party and by the Carlists, they then chose this flag as their symbol, which is essentially the Cross of Burgundy, but but then a smaller version in the plain in the center of a white field, which became known as the flag of traditionalism for the rest of the war. All right, everyone, so thank you very much for watching. This has been my video on the flags of the Spanish Civil War because there's quite a few. Um, and you know what? I was like, I've made several videos on the Spanish Civil War, which I'll link below and hopefully will remember to record and upload in the right order. Um, but that should be done in the future. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed it. I would recommend you check out some other videos if you find this interesting that I have on the Spanish Civil War. And I might make a couple more on this kind of topic in the future as well, because it is a rather interesting one. There's quite a lot to do with this uh, topic. It's an interesting prelude, of course, as I say in most of the outros, now thinking about it, um, about the Spanish Civil War. But hey ho, that's what it is. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Recommend it to any of your friends if you think they'd find it interesting. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. So thanks to the patrons for making it possible for me to make this video. And I'll see you all again very soon. Hasta luego.